Just over a year ago, an addendum onto the agreements between the Ministry of Transport and Aviation, the Sierra Leone Road Safety Authority, and Autospect Sierra Leone Limited was signed, and the Transport Minister, Kabina Kalon, called on the management of the Sierra Leone Road Safety Authority and the Nigerian firm, Autospect, to implement the agreement to the letter without let or hindrance. SLBC learned that in a letter dated January 23, 2019, the group of companies responsible for the manufacture of Sierra Leone's license plates was informed that Autospect would commence in a couple of months, not exceeding one calendar year. Apparently, knowing that their time is up, the group comprised of International Association Services, Sierra Trading Company, and Bill Hack Trading and Construction Systems appealed to the media for more introspection into their plight and the fate of their workforce. The three companies presented their case to journalists at Sludge headquarters where they asserted having no knowledge of any bidding done previously or other procurement procedures where they were invited to tender a bid. Representing the International Association Services within the three company consortium, Samuel Johnson, said they were up to date in their performance, delivery, and state obligations, such as payment of GST, customs, and other commissions and charges. Mr. Johnson did, however, acknowledge that no written agreement had been in force since 9th October 2014, but notwithstanding, there was no blemish on the 23-year record of their service as suppliers of license plates for all vehicle categories. He said that despite currency fluctuations, their group had been able to maintain the license price at 75,000 leons per issuance. The three-company consortium said that the new licenses to be issued by Autospect would cost 300% more, or at least 250,000 leon, a cost increase that could be passed on to the vehicle owners, according to the consortium. Managing Director of Autospect, Muhyiddin Itani, was unavailable at the time of the press conference, but according to their company website, Autospect is a vehicle inspection company and gives little indication of preparedness to issue the unique license plates that identify Sierra Leonean vehicles within the ECOWAS sub-region. Nevertheless, in January 2018, Autospect promised an investment of 25 million United States dollars in the development, operation, and implementation of vehicle inspection stations, the development of radio frequency identification, windshield stickers, and secure registration plates. Presently, the license plates are manufactured on the premises of the SLRSA, for which rent and utilities are paid by the consortium. The downing of their tools will create a backlog of license plates, owing to the output capacity of just 30 license plates per day. What still remains unclear is how the transition from the three-company consortium to Autospect will be conducted without creating an operational constraint for vehicle owners who wish to obtain or renew licenses and license plates. Whilst the consortium is asking for more clarity on this arrangement and for governments to remember its commitments to local content provision and poverty alleviation, the PRO of SLRSA, Abdul Karim Dumbuya, told journalists that in December of 2017, the Autospect arrangement was passed by the House of Parliament. This would seemingly seal the fate of the three-man consortium to fold up their activities, but there are possibilities for a shared arrangement or an extension for the Sierra Leonean proprietors to phase out and hand over coherently to the Nigerian awardees. Apparently, the company will fully pre-finance the entire project and will hand over ownership to the Sierra Leone government after 15 years, having built a minimum of nine inspection sites across the country with two in the western area and one in each of the district headquarter towns.